here from JSA and wanting to welcome you to our 42nd issue of Telecom News and Trends or TNT. That's JSA's monthly newsletter featuring the latest telecom news, videos, industry events, resources, career opportunities, and trends happening right now in our industry. We have put together some exciting summer news as well as what to look forward to this fall. So let's get ready to kick it off. This month's TNT is sponsored by Hibernia Networks. Hibernia Networks owns and operates a global network connecting North America, Europe, and Asia, serving 89 markets and spanning 25 countries. Hibernia Networks serves customers with unparalleled support, flexibility, and service in a variety of markets, including the telecom service provider market, financial services, media and entertainment, and web-centric segments. Commencing soon, Hibernia Network's new transatlantic cable, Hibernia Express, will provide be providing the lowest latency connectivity available in between North America and Europe. So what does Hibernia Express mean to Ireland in particular? Well, it is foundational element to the country's preeminent position in the global cloud infrastructure marketplace. Hibernia Express will provide the data centers and internet exchanges there, the connectivity to address the ever-growing bandwidth needs of North America and Europe. This news comes as Hibernia Express makes landfall in Cork, Ireland. That's in the early hours of August 10th. The TE Subcom cable ship carrying Hibernia Network's Hibernia Express transatlantic cable arrived offshore at Cork, Ireland. Very exciting news. It marked a new milestone for the first transatlantic cable to be deployed in over 12 years. The Express cable will be up and ready for service very soon, so stay tuned. Other major headlines coming this fall to you. Light Tower closes its merger and doubles its network reach. Light Tower Fiber Networks announces the closing of its 1.9 billion, that's with a B, billion merger with FiberTech Networks. The merger further solidifies the company's leading role in the U.S. fiber networking market. RCN Business, a communications provider delivering Network Solutions for Voice, Data, and Video announces it deployed its high-quality, fully redundant fiber network into 589 Fifth Avenue. That's right there, of course, in New York City. Southern Telecom completes a key installation in Colo ETL's downtown Atlanta facility. This installation will deliver significant dark fiber connectivity for current and future Colo ATL customers inside and outside of the facility. This news comes as Colo ATL continues its expansion, which includes a recently announced additional 6,400 square feet for a total of about 24,000 square feet of data center co-location space. So very big news for Tim and his team over at Colo ATL. Peg Bandwidth is expanding its network reach with the company's latest news. Peg Bandwidth has acquired a 48-mile fiber network from W.L. Gore & Associates, a privately held Newark based uh, enterprise there in Delaware, well known for its Gore-Tex fabric. Light River Technologies and Unique Computer Services together announced the immediate availability of release 3.2 of Unique's NetFlex management system. The announcement comes upon the successful completion of customer testing and training at Light River's factory-built network facility in Concord, California. NGN, a member-owned cooperative operating over 1,600 miles of fiber optic infrastructure in North Georgia, announced that its fiber network is providing 100 meg internet connections to seven libraries within the Northeast Georgia Regional Library System. This news comes on the heels of some really big M&A news for the company. NGN acquires ABT and improves connectivity for the North Georgia region. This acquisition allows NGN Connect to expand its service area by utilizing ABT's wireless infrastructure to effectively deploy high-speed broadband to areas that are otherwise underserved by fiber optic service. Talking Georgia, talking NGN, some more exciting news. We've got the Education Exchange, which is Georgia's only regional 10-gig private cloud for exclusive use by school systems and powered by the NGN fiber network, proudly announced its new technology partnership with LivingTree to enhance Georgia education. First Light Fiber announces that Mount Sunapee, among the most popular ski resorts in New Hampshire, has selected its fiber-based internet to enhance connectivity and streamline overall business operations. DKICS opens new internet exchange. Where else but Dallas? DKICS North America takes the company southwest 
with its latest internet exchange opening in Dallas, Texas, ready for service come January 2016. In other international news, XKL, an innovator of enterprise fiber optic networking systems, announced that the Japan Internet Exchange Company, uh, one of the largest internet exchanges in Japan, JPIX, has selected XKL's DQM 10 to 12 optical transport systems to increase network capacity in Tokyo. MRV Communications, a global provider of innovative packet and optical solutions, announces that Centricom is then leveraging MRV's portfolio of packet and optical platforms alongside its service orchestration software to ensure reliability and performance as it expands its network and service portfolio. Other news, Westel Technologies announces the launch of its latest power distribution unit, the DCP 10x10. You can just call it DCP, but it's high current universal DC panel. That DCP, available for purchase this fall, is designed to minimize voltage drops across cable runs in high current applications and provide several choices for protecting network equipment such as breakers or fuses. In related news, talent is aplenty over at Westdale. The company just announced the appointment of Brian Brulette as Senior Vice President of Intelligence Site Management and Worldwide Services. Also hiring Light River Technologies, a leader in the designing commissioning of factory-built networks announces its appointed utility industry leader, Rusty Williams, as director of vertical sales. Moving over to awards now, TMC, as you know, they're a global integrated media company, has awarded a VOTUS, Intelligent Communications Management System, Enhanced Usage Reporting System, the ICM EUR, a 2015 Communication Solutions Product of the Year Award. So congrats, a VOTUS. And keeping up with this award trend, big news over with Peg Bandwidth. Peg ranked number 392 on Inc.'s 500 magazine list. This is the second year in a row that Peg's been on that list, an exclusive ranking of the nation's fastest growing private companies. Okay, here's a webinar not to miss. Join us, Schneider Electric and JSA, on September 30th at 2 p.m. East Coast as we explore and review the ever-increasing businesses pressure affecting the telecom industry. That's right, we're sitting down talking with Mark Hurley. He's the Data Center Solutions Architect of Schneider Electric and breaking down what is edge computing and how is it affecting telecommunications as well as what steps are required to convert open space in a central office into a data center. The discussion will also dive into how a data center can be used to generate a non-regulated revenue stream and architecture solutions with ROI calculations. Register now to learn how to expand your business offer and maximize your revenue potential. And some videos not to miss, we have a JSA TV virtual roundtable called Playing Doctor, the state of the nationwide healthcare network. Our industry leaders discuss how the healthcare system has evolved with the introduction of mobility, telemedicine, and cloud services, and what challenges they see IT teams face in the healthcare industry. We also delve into how rural com communities and hospitals are benefiting from the introduction of telemedicine and how telecom providers are supporting these programs. So not to miss, go ahead and click through for the full free video roundtable. Moving over to events, we've got Vertex Consulting, Talking DAS, Wi-Fi and Small Cells at the Tower and Small Cell Summit. That's Las Vegas, Nevada, September 9th through the 11th. And with the target audience, okay, everyone sit down. This is big news. Over 1,250 attendees from 325-plus companies. Gen 15 is the must-attend annual networking event for executives and other senior professionals involved in the combined carrier Ethernet and third network services and technology ecosystem. So go ahead and join 120 plus carrier, Ethernet, LSO, SDN, and FV, and cloud expert speakers from around the world in Dallas, September 16th through the 19th. Go ahead and register here. <clears throat> and pack your bags, and let's head to London. As you may have heard, we are taking our telecom exchange networking event to London Excel on November 19th to co-locate with a highly established data center converged Europe event. Data Center Dynamics Converge Europe event that has years of success bringing together data center operators in the enterprise. So by adding this third telecoms layer, JSA and DCD, the hosts of the respective events, are creating a robust marketplace for the buying and selling of connectivity. Limited sponsorships are still available and speaker opportunities are quickly filling up. So go ahead and email us at info at thetelecomexchange.com and PS early bird rates and September 11th. Look who's hiring, we've got DKICS, 
First Light, GlobeNet, XKL, Hibernia Networks. So go ahead and check out below for our job listings. And some special offers, whiteboard video, anyone? <laughs> JSA is adding whiteboard video creation to our suite of offerings for companies seeking to promote their services in an easy to understand and trackable manner. Now available with a summer discount for the next two weeks. Check out the new white paper from Avotis on mitigating the risks of unified communications. The paper entitled The Price of Productivity, Mitigating the Risks of UC Deployments is available for free download below. And what's, what's up with the logistics of logistics? Check out our new open letter from consulting firm Vertex. This is a special blog that covers how to deal with complex network deployments with logistics as one of the foundational pillars upon which projects and planned success can be measured. That's all from us here at the JSA House to your house. Have a great productive fall and happy networking. <music>